Good morning, students. On today's lecture, I'll solve Mathematics Syllabus D, Paper 1, 4024, Variation 12, May, June 2017. This is a non-calculator version. And the first question says, evaluate the following. Okay, 4 by 5 minus 1 by 3. So, denominator is 5 and 3. Th those are co-prime. So, to find out the LCM, I need to multiply that. That's 15. So, uh, if you divide 15 by 5, that's 3. So, 4 times 3 minus, if you divide 15 by 3, 5. 5 times 1. So, it's going to be 12 minus 5 divided by 15. Okay. And that's going to give me 12 minus 5 is 7 divided by 15. So, this answer is 7 by 15. Okay. Now, evaluate that. So, what you can do, there are uh, two different ways you can do that. You can just multiply that. See, there is 2 and there is 6 and the rest of them are 0. So, multiply 2 times 6. That's going to be 12 and count all the digits after point. There are 3 digits and there is 1 digit. So, 4 total. So, 1, 2, 3, 4 and the point should be here. Okay. So, that's done. 0 0.0012. If you are not feeling comfortable with that, what you can do, you can put down this times 0 0.006 and then to take this point off, put 1 and after that is 1 0 and take this point off, then this is 1, then 3 zeros, this, then you can go four to, uh, 6 to the 12th and this is 1 followed by 4 zeros, then you can do this 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it doesn't matter how you do that. Okay. Now, shade one more small triangle in the shape below to make the pattern with one line of symmetry. Now, this is one, two, three, four, five, six hexagon. Okay. When you are dealing with hexagon, the line of symmetry is here. Okay. This is the way you can think. This is one line of symmetry. Another line of symmetry is here. Another is here. Okay. So that, that let's say one, two, three. Do we have more? Now look at this. If we if we join this, that also gonna be a line of symmetry right over here. So that's four. And over here is five. You don't need to do all this. Just, just to show you how you can uh, uh, guess right way. Okay. Now one box, one book box so that it's gonna have only one line of symmetry. Okay. Now, if you take this is the line of uh, this is the line of symmetry, then you have to see that you have to shade this part and then mm, this part. Okay, but if I do four, I can see clearly right over here. This is how this is how this is done. Now over here is uh, one triangle uh, shaded. So all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna shade this one. If I shade this one, then this is my line of symmetry. Okay, one line of symmetry. There are no other. So you need to know um, of a shape where is the line of symmetry lies and where is the rotational symmetry working. Okay, and this one uh, shade two more, two more small triangles in the shape below to make a pattern of rotational symmetry of order two. So two more order two. So if it's like that, this is this is the center. Okay. This center, you need to rotate it like that and trial and improvement method. You're going you're gonna to do that. Okay. Now, rotational symmetry, this is 360. And you know that if I, let me, let me draw this and explain this to you. Okay. If you have this center and you join them and each angle makes 60 degrees. So, rotational symmetry is 360 degree divided by 6 is 60 degree. So, from here, this line, this vertical line, when it comes over here, you have one rotational symmetry. So this is one, then this is one, something like that. So all the way in 360 degree, you have six rotational symmetry. So if you play with that, then you'll know that, see over here, two rotational symmetries. So one has to be 180, uh, 100, 360 divided by two, that means 180 degree. That means upside down. Okay, this one upside down is my 180 degree. Now remember, when it's like that, one at a time, this one was right over here. Okay, when I rotate 
right on the right hand side this one was my triangle shaded so if i go over here that means this one needed to be shaded okay this one okay now go back again so this shaded area was for this one now i have over here go back to on the left so go back here okay to left and that's gonna be this one over here okay right over here now watch this when i rotate like that okay see that on the on the right hand side this corner i have two triangles and this side two triangles facing uh, downwards like that and these two facing upwards so make 180 degree you can see that this facing upwards two of them this facing downwards okay so that's that i don't know if you can see that or not can you see that this is 180 two triangles facing uh, upwards towards this and over here facing below so same thing over here when in 180 degree two of them facing upwards and two of them facing downwards okay so this one is done now go for this one by uh, writing each number correct to one significant figures correct to one significant figures estimate the value of so that's going to be 58.7 so that's going to be uh, one significant figure so it should be 60 and that should be 4 and that should be 20 and there is cubed so times 20 times 20, three of them. So if I cross them out, this zero, this zero cross out, two times two, and this is gonna be 10. Okay, so this is gonna be 10, and this is gonna be three. I want to keep it like that. Three by 100, you can keep it this way, or three, then two zeros like this, and this point. So 0 0.03, or you can write down three by 100. So that's done. Question number four. It says that a group of students were asked to ask if they wanted a letter start to the school day. Wanted a letter start to the school day. The pie chart summarizes the result. 200 students say no. So there are this 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 sector represents 200 students. So let me write down this represents 200 students. Work out the number of students who said yes. Okay, this one I need X. Okay, so 200 represent 80 degree and X represent, what is this angle? That's 360 minus 80. So that must be 280 degree. So that's 280 degree. So X equal to 200 times 280 divided by 80 okay so this zero this zero cross out so um four seven four two za four seven za and two this is hundred so seven hundred so seven hundred student who said yes okay so this one is done now next one the diagram shows a position of two the the Diagram shows the position of two villages A and B. A and B. Measure the bearing of B, B from A. So measure the bearing. I need a protector to measure it. So B from A. So I'm gonna coincide this. this things okay from A. So north from north. I'm gonna measure this, and it does look something like. Uh, uh see i'm gonna start from the lower scale right over here coincide this point and we're gonna from start from zero 20 30 35 36 37 38 i see 138 degree uh, the bearing of b from a so i see 138 degree okay all right now next one says the bearing of village c from a is 265 work out the i don't need to draw that okay 265 if i know that 265 this is 270 265 should be somewhere 
uh, over here. Okay, so that's going to be 265 degree. Okay. So it's saying that the bearing of Vila is A, uh, C from A. So let's say this is A. Now in my uh, bearing videos, I have showed you whatever it says from, just draw a plus sign. This is north. So they are asking for this angle. So what is this angle is equal to? To get this angle, I need to find out, see these two are parallel line. I need to find this angle. This angle and this angle is supposed to be equal. Now this is 265 and this one is 180. So this angle is 265 minus 180. So it's non-calculated version. You cannot use the calculator. 180. So that's going to be 5 and that's going to be, uh, let's say, um, 8. And that's zero, 85. So this is 85. Therefore, this is going to be 85. But you cannot write down 85. You have to write down bearing 3 uh, digits, 0, 8, 5. That's the bearing of C. A, o, A from the bearing of village C. From, this is C. Sorry. This is C. This is C. Work out the bearing of A from C. Yeah. So A from C, that's going to be 85 degree. Okay. So this one is done. Okay. Question number six. A thermometer measures temperature correct to the nearest degree. The outside temperature is measured as negative uh, 8 degree centigrade. Uh, write down the upper bound of the outside temperature. So upper bound should be minus 8 plus correct to the nearest degree. So 1 by 2 degree that should be negative 7.5 degree centigrade. So 7.5 degree Celsius or centigrade. Okay. Now the inside temperature is measured 10 degree. Inside is 10 degree. Uh, calculate the lower bound of the difference between the outside temperature and the inside temperature. Now lower bound, the minimum. Okay. So if I have the the minimum of this inside one, that means 10 minus half, that means 9.5 and upper bound of the outside, that means minus 7.5. Okay. So the difference would be 9.5 minus minus 7.5. So 9.5 plus 7.5, that's going to be 0, 0 and 1, 10, 17. So it's going to be 17 degree. Okay. So this one is done. Use the set notation to describe the shaded set in the Venn diagram. This shaded set, not in B. So B prime intersecting A. So you can write down A intersecting complement of B. A intersecting complement of B. Or, or you can write down complement of B intersecting A. It doesn't matter. Okay, use the set notation to complete the statement about set C and D. C and D. Okay, C. C is inside D. So, uh, C is a proper subset of D. And proper subset goes like that. D. Okay. Now, a film starts at 2235 and finishes at 120. How long in hours and minutes does the film last? Now, there are two ways you can do that. I'll do both ways. Okay. This one, 120 is right after midnight. Midnight is 24 hours. So you can write down 24. Then you added 120. So that actually giving you 2520. And from that, subtract 2235. Okay. So this 20 minute and this is hour. So minute uh, this is a smaller than this. So I'm going to cut this one, put 24 and that one hour added over here. One hour is 60 minutes. So 60 plus 20 is 80. So 35 minus 80, that's going to be 5. And that's going to be 4, 45. And over here is 2. So 2 hour, 45 minutes. This is one way to do that. Another way is you can, you can go 24 hours and subtract 2235. So same way, you can write down this is 23 and this is 60 minutes. 
so that's gonna be five carrying one this is two uh, this is two and over here is one hour so this is one hour 25 minutes from mid uh, from 22 35 to midnight and then after midnight one hour 20 minutes so you can add that so 245 it doesn't matter how you go 225 245 245 two hours 45 minutes okay on may 1 Okay, I already write down on the top, so uh, I'm not sure if you can see that or not. On May, 1 May, Leila starts to go swimming every day. She swims 30 lengths of the swimming pool every day. The swimming pool is 20 meter long. So it's 20 meter long. Okay, and she swims 30 lengths. Okay, so 30 lengths. Uh, work out the date when Leila has swum a total of 10 kilometer. To do that, first find out uh, how many lengths does she uh, swim every day. Okay, uh, it's, uh, the, it's uh, 20 meter and she swims 30 lengths. Okay, so every day she swims 30 times 20 equal to 600 meter. Okay, now um, she when she, see May 1st, 1st May, she started to swim. Okay. And the question said, when she complete 10 kilometer, how many days or which day she does that? Okay, so 10 kilometer is nothing but 10 times 1000. That means 10,000 meter. So 10,000 divided by 600. That's going to give you 0, 0, 0, 0. And this is going to be 3 and this is going to be 50. So... It's 50 divided by 3, 3 1's uh, 3, so 2, 0, 3, 6, uh, 18, so 2, so 17th day. Okay, so May 1, she started, so 17th May, she will, well, she will take 16th May to cover actually um, uh, 48, right? 48 uh uh, uh, 48 kilometer, right? No, hold on. Uh, no, what I wanted to say that 16th day, she covers almost that, but there are few left, two over three parts left. Okay, so that she finished on 17th May. So the 10th, 10 uh, kilometer she covers on the 17th day. It's not the end of the 17th day, but sometimes in 17th May. Okay, so the answer is going to be 17th May. Okay, so uh, let me do the next uh, math in my next video. Okay, I have done up to 100, uh, 128 and from 9 onwards I'll do in my uh, next video. Okay, thank you for watching. Have a, a good day. Take care.